Hey guys, how you doing? This is Wayne with uh, truckpolisher.com. If uh, you want to know how to polish these trailer fender skirts that they have on some of these trailers, like Renegade has it, and you know most of your manufacturers of trailers will uh, put this type of skirt on there. But you can actually make that to match up to the stainless pretty darn close. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to do that. Whether you have uh, that style I previously showed you or the over the wheel style fender, all these will polish out the same. Uh, the only difference would be, you know, I'm not, I don't do a lot of these, but if they had a really harsh grain in them, you may have to do some pre sanding to rid yourself of some lap lines that you might get. But, anyways, uh, like I said, this process will work for over the wheel fenders or the skirts so here we go here's a uh, almost finished fender skirt that I've been working on here and I'm going to show you on the other side the process that I use to polish those so you can see uh, the stainless that's above there and the aluminum fender skirt that's below so uh, if you have any questions at all just Get a hold of me through my uh, email account that's truckpolisher at gmail.com. Okay, well, I did start this and then I decided that this would be a good time to make a video so I don't keep on kicking it out of the uh, video line here. So let me adjust this one more time and I'll try not to kick it. So, let's go through how we got this done. All right, so when I first started it, you always inspect the aluminum, okay? Now this trailer's old, so it's been washed several times, and we had some streaking on the aluminum, which was, you know, was soap residue, or sometimes they take these to the truck washes and they'll get like a acetic streak on these. Okay, you can't see very good in the video, but there is. And what I did to take care of that is I prepped the aluminum by hand with aluminum brake. That may be a new term for a lot of people out there, but what it is is a hydrofluoric acid. So all I do is I keep a bottle mixed up here. This is a, a concentrated and what I do is I dilute it with water and I keep it in the bottle and what it does is it etches the aluminum and brings it right back down to bare aluminum so if you've got wax on there road film road salts whatever it takes all that off and preps the metal for polishing so you can see what it does okay I got it pretty diluted so we're not going to get the real high foamy acid look to it but just what I did right there was sufficient enough to get this aluminum prepped to have it polished. Step two, what I did is I took my rouge lube, and you can get this at shop.truckpolisher.com. Otherwise, go to my website, and there's a link from there. Go to www.truckpolisher.com. So now what, step two, I just uh, apply a little bit of the rouge lube to the surface. Oopsie. Okay, there's a little junk up here that should come off with the buff. But like I said, there's, you know, these fenders you usually don't have to sand them. Just got to cut them pretty decent. Okay, apply the rouge loop. Now I'm going to be cutting with a 8 inch yellow keystone buff that's also on the website. And you can either use this big 5,000, 6,000 RPM grinder or you can use the car polishers too, you know. I, I have to use the big ones because I got to get it in and out of these jobs rather quickly. It works for me, and I've been using them for years. But, you know, it's pretty uh, intimidating to use these sometimes. So if you want to, just use the uh, variable speed car polishers, and you'll just do just as fine. So anyway, I'm going to be using the Keystone Brown Primary Cutting Bar, also available on the website, truckpolisher.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting in a 
horizontal fashion, and I'm going to go vertical. So, let's begin. right here and explain something when I did the aluminum brightener step and applying it with a rag and not rinsing it like that okay if you do not have the ruse loop and you try to cut that out you will be able to cut it up but you will have difficulties doing it okay the ruse loop on there is aggressive enough to bring that uh, etching out of there and begin the shine process so just take note, if you go there and order individual products off the site, make sure you get yourself some Rouge Lube. Otherwise, you may have difficulties cutting that off. Anyways, uh, you can actually rub it off with a cream easier than you can buff it off. So I don't know why that is. It's just the way it is. So anyways, uh, if you wanted to, you could do this whole fender with my basic polishing kit. Sells for $50 on the website at this time. Prices are subject to change. some kind of a blemish here and right here uh, feel like maybe a stone hit but anyways uh now if you just basically got the basic polishing kit and you didn't get no color bar a color bar would be your lighter bars like your white now let's say you don't get that you just get the basic polishing kit what I would do is just apply the bar just like I have okay Take it up, just like I've been. But what you do to lighten up your buff lines is either use a color bar and a white pad, or just don't apply no more bar to your buff. Rake it a little bit with a, you know, if you got an edge of a screwdriver, if you got a buffing rake, that's fine too. But just don't apply no more pad. See, we're all done. We're doing this process, and you see like a little bit of lappy line going on there. And you want to lighten those up, but you don't actually have the color bar. 
we ordered the basic polishing kit. You're going to get a great result just with the basic polishing kit. That's basically what it's going to look like without any bar on your pad. Just bring that up. There is some residue on the pad yet. It's going to be enough to bring it up for you and get rid of some of those harsher buff lines. So if you tend to blacken out, blacken out means that you start getting a black residue. It's very light and all scattered. That means that you definitely are out of bar and you need to apply a little bit more. trailer looking sharp get that stainless and aluminum kind of matching up there and uh, like I said I have any questions get a hold of me at gmail and that's at truckpolisher at gmail.com don't forget to subscribe have any comments please list them below I appreciate you guys for watching these videos and I hope I'm helping you out all right so have a good day we'll see you on the next one